Hi, I'm Chef Julia, and today I'm gonna to be making some sesame noodles. I don't like to call it a salad because you can just call it sesame noodles, but it involves having some really good noodles, and we'll talk about the different types. And we're going to take these noodles here, the ones I'm using today are a wheat noodle, but we're gonna take those noodles and we're gonna make them into something really delicious. But we're gonna start with our dressing. So I have my dressing ingredients right here. I'm gonna bring them over to get them closer to me. And I'm going to start by, um, you know, putting them in this jar here. Hopefully I'll have enough room. And we're gonna start with some low sodium soy sauce. And I need about four tablespoons. This is gonna take a minute. And I use the low sodium soy sauce because it still has a lot of sodium but a little goes a long way. So what can I say? I'll never stop using soy sauce. If you, if you can't, and I'm using two tablespoons of tahini, and this is Mighty Sesame Tahini, which is a, you can see it's a pourable tahini. It comes out a lot easier than the tahini that you scrape out of a jar. I think I'm getting a little low on it. But if you didn't use soy sauce, uh, there are a lot more products out now, like this one is called No Soy, and it has 40% um, less sodium than soy sauce, and it's not made from soy. So you can definitely try that if, you, if for some reason you can't use soy sauce. Then we're going to put in four tablespoons of rice vinegar. One, two, three, four. And then we're gonna put in uh, four teaspoons, and I'm gonna just eyeball this and put a tablespoon and a little bit more because there are three teaspoons in a tablespoon. I'm going to use maple syrup. You could also use date syrup. So there's my three teaspoons and a little bit more. This dressing has to be a little sweet. Uh, the other thing I use often is date syrup. So date syrup, it still has the same amount of sugar as maple syrup. So date syrup has 13 grams of sugar. Maple syrup has, well, maybe a little bit less. Oh, a fourth cup has 53. So I think they're pretty, pretty same, pretty equal. All right, then we're gonna put in some sriracha. And if you don't like sriracha, you can use red chili flakes. I happen to really like sriracha. So two teaspoons, not quite a tablespoon, but I have had times where I've used red chili flakes instead of sriracha and it gives you the same sort of spicy, nice flavor. We're gonna put in some lime juice. So lime is very refreshing. I love the taste of lime juice in salad dressing. So I'm gonna squeeze half a lime, which is usually like a tablespoon, give or take. It's gonna be enough to give it that brightness. And last but not least, we're gonna throw in some fresh grated ginger. Okay, so, um, you know, ginger is really good in salad dressings, and I forgot to bring my grater in here. So, um, I'm, it, since I don't have my grater with me, I'm just going to put a couple ginger slices in my dressing. But really, I would normally grate the ginger, but I'm gonna just put these slices in here because that will infuse my dressing with the, the ginger and I can pull those out at the end so they won't get into the middle of my noodle salad. So, you know, you just improvise sometimes because I don't want to stop and go to the other room to find my ginger grater. That would take too long. So here's my dressing. That was all there was to it. It's basically tahini is sesame flavored and all the other ingredients, the citrus, the rice vinegar, the hot pepper from the sriracha, that makes it have such a good, good flavor. So um, very easy. If you want to make the dressing less intense, you can add a little bit of water, but I kind of like it, this intensity. And like I said, remember, normally I would put some grated ginger in there, but I didn't have my grater with me. So I'm gonna get these ingredients out of the way. And I'm gonna start working on the actual noodles. So what I have here, let me show you. I have my salad ingredients this tray here and my recipe and I'm going to kind of go through some of these ingredients but um, what kind of noodles to use well this time I used 
today's wheat noodles. And that's what I have here in this bowl. So um, these are just like regular spaghetti noodles, in fact, but these are really good. These are kind of a, you know, a, an organic Italian brand that has really good tape flavor, and I like those a lot. But at other times, I've used rice noodles. So I made this salad yesterday, and I used these rice noodles, and these are, actually they're this brand, they're called Pad Thai noodles, but they're just brown rice noodles. And so I made this dish with these brown rice noodles and it was delicious. So today I'm using the whole wheat pasta, which I think that's my favorite, but you could use anything. And so what I did was I, right before this video started, I cooked my noodles in plenty of boiling water. So, you know, when you make your noodles, use plenty of water. Don't be afraid to get lots of water in there. And then, you know, I boiled them for eight minutes and I got them out of there while they were still, you know, you call them al dente, but you know, they have, they're not overcooked. They're not all swollen and bloated and they're perfect. And so for this recipe, I'm gonna only use one cup of these noodles and make one serving. So I'm gonna show you my trick about how to get the most out of your noodles by um, using some kind of uh, volume, like adding more volume to this dish instead of just having noodles. Because when you go to a restaurant or you order noodles from somewhere, usually you get like a great big bowl of noodles and you think, oh, well, that's my serving. But what you're really getting is you're getting like four servings of noodles because you're getting like, you know, maybe three cups of noodles to fill up the container. But noodles are kind of, you know, they're one of those things that I kind of don't eat unlimited amounts of things like noodles. I try to eat three servings a day that are about half a cup of serving of grains. And um, for me to eat a cup of noodles, I would just kind of save one serving from lunch and have two servings for dinner. So how am I going to kind of, you know, um, increase the amount of volume or substance to my dish so I don't have to use so many noodles? Well, I'm gonna use some tricks that, um, increase volume. So I have some cabbage and this cabbage head came from my garden. It's very little, but it's awfully cute, isn't it? So I've got that and I've got my uh, microplane or uh, my mandolin and I'm going to use my cut resistant glove. If you have a cut resistant glove, use it. Um, don't think that you can just, you know, use these uh, mandolins and not pay attention because you know, a lot of people end up with some nasty injuries, I'm sure you've seen. But what I'm doing is, if you could see this, I am shaving this cabbage so that it's really thin. I don't want it to be thick, I want it to be shaved, like super, super thin. And I don't want too much of it. I just want to kind of bulk up my noodle salad with some cabbage, so that's all I want. And you know, purple cabbage is full of color, it's beautiful. So I'm gonna set that pile there. I have some um, zucchini. So this bin here is, I call this my uh, everyday simple daily salad. And so every day I just pull this bin out of my refrigerator and it has all my vegetables for my salads. Well, it happens to have a zucchini. So I'm like, well, why not? Why not just have a few slices of zucchini for the noodle salad, it's not gonna hurt anything. So I just made some really thin rounds of zucchini. And because they're thin rounds of zucchini, I'm gonna put them over here later and I'm gonna go ahead and cut them, but not right now. I have some bell pepper, and I think that's all the shaving I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna put that over here. I have some bell pepper, I don't need the cut resistant glove now. So I'm gonna put the uh, little red bell pepper in. And what I do is I just kind of take a slab off the side because I don't um, want to have to deal with all the seeds. And I'm just going to cut some julienne pieces. I don't want too much red bell pepper on my noodles because, you know, red bell peppers can, you can overdo it with red bell peppers or anything really for that matter. So we'll just put a few on there and I'm going to keep them in the julienne size because everything is going to kind of be in that size. I have a carrot, and I buy these carrots that have, you know, that still have the tops on them, just because they're usually really fresh and sweet and they taste better. And I think I have my, here it is, 
this. I knew I had it out here. I've got my peeler. It's a Julianne peeler, and I'm just going to run it across the carrot. And you'll see that it's so cool because what it does is it cuts the carrot into Julianne strips. So they're little, they're like a little shreds, and it's so handy because I didn't have to try to cut those myself. And I could just keep going, but I'm not going to do a lot of carrots. I just need enough because remember, I'm just making one serving. So if you wanted to make more servings than that, you could just keep going and do a couple carrots. And then I'm going to cut those in half because remember, I want everything to look the same and be equal size. All right. So um, let's see, what other things do I have in here? I have a scallion or two, and we'll use that a little bit later. Oh, I know. I was going to put some greens in my... A salad. Now, this doesn't look like much. These are greens, and these greens come in these very big boxes, like these 10 ounce boxes of greens. And I cook them up, I blanch them in a big pot of boiling water, like this water, and I blanch them for one minute. And that whole 10 ounce package of greens turns into this little tiny amount. They're very concentrated. I squeeze all the liquid out and so they become these little bundles of greens and then I eat these greens throughout the day to get in all of the servings of greens that I want. Well they also go really well in dishes like this because what I can do is I can cut these greens into little pieces and then I can put them here in my noodle dish and you don't even really notice they're there but you can eat them and it provides you with the greens that you want to eat anyway, but they're just kind of disguised. And then I have edamame. So this is one of those bags of shelled edamame. And it's funny because normally I would try to cook them in the microwave or in boiling water and invariably they get kind of overcooked and, and hard. Well, my friend Amy Johnson, who um, is a plant-based chef type person. She told me yesterday, it was the strangest thing, she takes the edamame and she covers it with boiling water and lets it sit for five minutes and then they're done. And I thought, well, that's just too good to be true, but it works great and they don't get all shriveled up and they're perfect, so I'm gonna use that edamame. So thank you, Amy, for that tip. All right, so what I have here now, oh, here, let me, let me uh, cut up my scallions because they're gonna go on top. So I think you can already see, just look at my cutting board, the beautiful color of this dish. Everything from red to orange to purple, bright green, the edamame, and we even have some other things we can add, but this is what I'm gonna start with here in a minute. I'm also gonna put cilantro. I have some cilantro and some jalapeno. So I've got my cilantro over here. I had washed it earlier and I blotted it dry. If you use something like cilantro, be sure you dry it because if you don't, it will just kind of clump together. I'm sure you've had that experience where you put cilantro on something and your cilantro was all just one big, you know, giant piece of cilantro and that's not very appealing. It's not attractive, it doesn't taste good. So I'm gonna chop the cilantro up. I find that chopped cilantro looks better than great big pieces because, you know, I just don't like the look of giant pieces of cilantro. All right, so I have all the things for my noodle dish, except for the one last thing that I didn't have on my board is this. And this is my absolutely delicious sesame ginger tofu. And if you watch my YouTube video called Japanese Glass Noodle Salad, which apparently was very popular, I made this recipe on that video, so I'm not going to make it on this video. So you can go back to that video and watch it, but we're going to use a couple of pieces of this because baked tofu or air fried tofu just adds one more element to this dish to just really boost it to make it taste good. All right, so then I have to cut this up into some cubes so I have it ready to go. So I'm going to cut it up into, this time I'm going to cut it instead of slices like I usually do. I'm gonna cut it into small cubes so they'll kind of mix in there with the noodles. So I'm gonna have this pile of sesame ginger tofu cubes. 
right here on my board. That way I won't forget anything. All right, so I think you see the picture. I'm gonna wipe my hand off here. You see the picture of everything I'm gonna do. So I've gotta build my dish. So I have my one cup of noodles and I have my plate. Let me get my plate. And let me move this huge thing out of my way. And put my plate right here. Okay, so I have the dressing. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to put some of this dressing on the noodles to loosen them up. And I have a lot of extra dressing, so I don't have to use all of it. And you see the first thing that happened is that chunk of ginger fell out. I don't want the ginger, but since it was big, you know, I was able to put it in there. So you see the noodles, as soon as I put the dressing on them, they loosened up very nicely. So don't be afraid if your noodles, when you take them out of the pan and they sit for a while, you know, the noodles will kind of clump together like that. But the minute you put your dressing on your noodles, they immediately will start to come apart, which is good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build some layers. I'm gonna build a layer of noodles. If you hear any sound in the background and it sounds like snoring, it is. It's my boxer, Mochi, who's over there snoring up a storm. They went for a walk this morning and they got tired and there they are just snoring. So I put a layer of noodles, cabbage, carrots, red bell pepper, and uh, let's see, I'll put some edamame and I'll put a little tofu. That's just one layer. Okay, that wasn't even all of my noodles. So then I take another layer of noodles. I do the same thing. And you know, this wasn't really a lot of vegetables either. That was less than a half a cup of purple cabbage and just one little slab of red bell pepper. And then I've got the, the greens. Remember my greens, the blanched greens? I'm just gonna toss them on there because they're gonna get tossed up in the mix. And then one last little layer of noodles on top. So what happens is when you get this dish, you think, wow, look at all that food. You know, I get this huge amount of food to eat and it's, uh, you know, mostly vegetables. There are some noodles, but it's not completely, you know, packed with noodles. I've got some scallions. And then we can put, you know, um, a little bit more edamame and I can kind of try to keep it to as tall as possible all right and then we'll top it with some cilantro and I didn't I haven't even used all this food on my tray what I can do is I'll surround my noodles with some little cubes of tofu just for fun because I know that I'm gonna love to eat that tofu and maybe some more edamame around the side because it's not gonna stay on here but I want the edamame. So I've got the, you know, protein from the edamame and then I've got some nice jalapenos because I like it spicy. Now I could add sriracha on here if I wanted to. Let's say, you know, I like it really spicy. So I could put a little cilantro, a little sriracha. And last but not least, I really like the crunchy toasted almonds. So I'm gonna throw some toasted almonds on there. So there you have it. There is my sesame noodle salad where, you know, it's got all these delicious ingredients. And because I, you know, bulked up the volume with cabbage and greens and bell pepper and all these extra ingredients, even some zucchini, which I forgot to put on there. But if I had put the zucchini on there, that would add one more vegetable. I forgot to uh, slice it into little julienne strips. So there you have it. This is the sesame salad, sesame noodle salad. This is something that I have brought with me to numerous, numerous friends' houses and meetings and things. And when I bring it with me somewhere, what I do is I bring the dressing. I dress it a little bit, but I bring you know more dressing with me. And right before I serve it, I put all the layers together and then I put the dressing on it and then I serve it because like most things, the dressing will get absorbed into the noodles. So it's really better if you dress it right before you eat it. So there you have it. 
sesame noodle salad. I hope you make this, I hope you eat it. Um, I'm not gonna eat it right now because it would be really awkward to try to stuff a bite of this into my mouth, but as soon as I'm done, I'm sure I'm gonna enjoy this plate for my lunch today. So thanks and come back again and watch more of my videos and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.